Alright guys, it's October the 18th. I am getting off work. We're leaving work early. But my buddy called me and was like, dude, I've got a deer showing up every day. I got my eye on a couple other deer. Don't really want to shoot this one. If you want to, come kill him. Well, the problem was is that with it being such a small area, we weren't able to really get into where we needed to be able to put a, a lock on up or a ground blind or anything because we just did not want to bump this deer out. So we, there was an old tripod stand that was already originally there. We checked it for safety to make sure it was good. And I really wanted to kill this deer with my bow. And I got there that day and just my buddy <laughs> told me it wasn't going to be able to happen. And sure enough, I couldn't make it happen with my with my bow. So I call my buddy back and tell him, say, hey, man, I, it's not working. I'm whispering to him. He belly crawls across a field with his muzzleloader and says, man, look, use my muzzleloader. We got to kill this deer before he leaves this small area. So I, we, we swap out weapons. And the other bad thing about it is the tripod is in a wide open spot. I have nowhere to put my camera arm, nowhere to put my big camera. So I am strictly using a GoPro. So this was going to be a, a, a very challenging uh, laying the footage down, shooting the deer, everything, just because when he shows up, he's going to be right on top of me. And well, that's exactly what happened. I look up and he comes running off the side of the hill right into this bottom. I turn everything on, make sure the GoPro's uh, going. For whatever reason, the GoPro will not go into record mode. And I am panicking. The deer is sitting here in front of me, literally 14 yards. I'm in the wide open with a muzzleloader and I'm steadily hitting my GoPro. Something happened and even though it recorded and shows that there's a file there for 30, 40 seconds, it will not upload. I pull up and I shoot because he's starting to get nervous. He, he sees me, I shoot the deer, the smoke goes everywhere. I have no idea if I hit this deer or what. It, it just was a crazy, quick with the camera everything hectic moment and uh well it ended up being an interesting track but we got the deer he's like right there and i had it on him and pulled the trigger i can't believe it ran off though they're still out there blowing so I'll give him a few minutes and I, i'm in this little bitty little bitty seat and i i can't get my big camera in here i wanted to shoot him with a bow like i said earlier but I can't shoot a bow in this. It's so tight. I mean, I am hunting literally like two acres. It is freaking crazy. Oh, and it's so cold. It was like 80, 90 degrees two days ago, and it's 46 degrees right now. Oh my gosh. His buddy just got here. He got a dog. I just shot the deer not even 10 minutes ago, but I think I heard him going to the creek. We're gonna go down and look where I shot. He's right where I shot. some blood. That's good blood too. Mm -hmm. That's like good bright blood. Um, you want to? That's good blood. Careful Kate. Careful Kate. Careful. Boys what have we done here? Look at this sucker right here, 14 yards. I'm talking about in my lap. My camera froze up, okay. wouldn't come on, but man, what a beautiful acorn and a big bruiser of body. And he gave us a ride, man. He, what, 200 something yards from us? Roughly, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and I put him right in the shoulder. So anyways, they got a will to live. Awesome, awesome time right there, man. Look at that right there. That's pretty of acorn that you can ask for. Y'all stay tuned for some more hunting. We just getting started. It's October the 18th. 18th, man, we got all year. So we got some more stuff going to Illinois next week. Y'all stay tuned. 
All right, this week on Real South Hunting, we're gonna be in Arkansas for the rifle rut hunt. This is our favorite time to be up here. The deer are running crazy, bucks chasing does, and uh, old brother Joe's got it ready for us to come home. Going to get them this morning or what? We're trying to go get them. It'd be better if we look earlier. The guy had overslept. The guy had overslept. Oh, that had to wake me up. Next time, young. The day after Thanksgiving, had an awesome time with the family. Got to eat some good food at Grandma's, and then made a, a fast trip back up to Arkansas. Deer, not a lot, but the evenings have been better, so hopefully this evening it is on. What you think, Stubbs? Don't kill a big buck here in a few minutes, I'm thinking. What are you thinking, brother? I think we're going to get three of them tonight. Three of them? I like that. What's the plan right now? You're going back to the river stand? Stubbs is going to where I went this morning, on the ditch stand, where you saw that big deer last year. And I'm going up on the hill. Well, you killed every deer last year. I thinned them out last year. You left me too, and I do appreciate that. <laughs> this wind is switching back and forth, so I don't know how well that's gonna work out for me, but I saw a doe on the way in, and she never knew I was in the world. Walked up to her about 15 yards, and she was feeding on acorns. some rain coming in today so we're gonna make a quick hunt here we're probably gonna make a little change of where we're going from where we went last night i'm gonna go to where stubbs hunted stubbs is going to his favorite stand
this shot again. <laughs> That's got to be broke. That's got to be broke. He's shooting that monster. Y'all wait till y'all see. Stud eight. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I think I hit him back the first time. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I could have smoked him with the Matthews, but you just, you never know. I, I got two tags, and I want to go ahead and get the deer down with the rifle. And then I can just dive in and do some bow hunting. Alright, well we said we were going to get out of stand about 9.30. And I'm sitting here watching my clock and it's 8.45. So I stayed there as long as I could and I got down and had to go get stubs. Let's go get the boys. I can't wait no longer. I gotta go show you. Wait a minute, let me get a cross there. You did not shoot the one I had the cross tags on. Did it take it there in the world? It's a big deer. Real big? It's a big eight point. That's right around? Big. Is that tall? Big. When I see him, I don't know. He's big. Why didn't you shoot him? I, I don't know. If, I, if he's on my GoPro and I didn't shoot him. No, I'm still happy. I'm good. You killed him. Well, he came from that way. Yeah, he seen your rig run around you. He was huge. Dude, you shot twice. Well, I shot him and he ran out there about 80 yards and stopped. And I wouldn't let him. <laughs> I put one more in him. There would not have been one bullet left in my gun. And he went down. He's pretty good eight point. I ain't gonna lie. He's pretty good. He's 115 inch eight point. He ain't that big. Okay, that ain't the one I saw. He ain't 150. That ain't the one I saw. He may, he may do 130. Uh-uh, he ain't the one I saw. No. I'm gonna get back in my tree. What are you doing down You didn't know this one lived in here. He is a freaking stubby. When did he come through? 10 minutes before you shot him. Really? Let's go look. I don't know if it's in. And about that time, here comes Mobasa. I said, oh crap, I wheeled the camera around, turned my GoPro on. I had to look, the GoPro was, of course, on my gun. I said, I don't know if it's seen him or not. I watched him walk off. He's the best eight point I've ever seen. He's the best eight point I've ever seen. He's the best eight point I've ever seen. Come on. He's big. He's real big. Really? Really. We got the crew now. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Got it. Oh yeah, I got both cameras. All right, uh, y'all. I think. Yeah, man. I'll drag the deer too. After we set the cameras down, I'll drag the deer out. Can you clean him? Huh? Can you clean him? Yeah, I can. I can. Okay. Yeah. Brooke. <laughs> that's him. Brooke. Oh no, I know that's him. Brooke. <laughs> oh my God. I was looking at that other side. That's what I was looking at. That is him, Brooke. No. That is the big eight. You have been put your hands on the big eight. This is the big eight? That's the big eight. That is the big eight. We have yeah, been hunting really. for we have been hunting that deer for two years. God. What a stud. Dude, right. That's better than eleven inches right there. Freaking high five. You <laughs> just dog it, boy. I would high five you broke. I got two cameras. <laughs> so I can get you and Joe on here having a good time. It's been a tough go up here in Arkansas. Came up for bow season, didn't have a whole lot of action. I made a trip up last weekend. Joe called me, said the deer are going everywhere. Get up here. So I made the trip, got up here, uh, saw a couple eight points. I believe it was on the last day and it was in some thick stuff, couldn't get a shot. It's right after Thanksgiving. I'm thankful to be back in Arkansas with my buddy Joe. Got Stubbs here with me. Stubbs coming here yesterday evening and he, he he decided he's going back to his favorite stand, so that's what he did this morning. And I came in here where he had hunted and saw a couple does early, and it was getting to be about 8:25. Heard something over my left shoulder. I turned and looked, and this bad boy was standing at 15 yards. So 
I did my best to move, get the camera around. It's not going to be the best footage. He was looking straight at me, and he saw me. He just couldn't tell what I was. And uh, he turned and walked parallel in the road and uh, got my gun turned around on him and took a shot at 15 yards. And he ran out there to about 80 yards and turned broadside. And he was standing there, so as long as he's up, I'm going to take another shot. Yeah, T. Brook, he's pulled all the way right now. It's I need some energy. Years. He's managing. That's going to be our beer celebration. We're going to do it so we can celebrate with some breakfast. Yeah. I tried to go hunting this morning, y'all. Brooke said he was just too tired. I was tired, man. Yeah. Yeah, I need some air. He's killing, killing them big old bacon. You ain't lying. I had to watch you clean that thing. Not that one. Okay. I had to hold his horn one time. Man, he was big. And you live out of state, you're going to travel with him. You got to do all kind of work. You got to cape him out completely. Deep on. Deep on him. Make sure it's all ready to go. So. Let's see if you can get one of them 150s. 150. 150 on the... That boy got, got old Matthew here today. We're going to be trying to get it done with the post. Got stand set up, video go, got one set up. 35 yard shot, max. You saw he ran down that way? Yeah. And about that time, Brooke, which never says nothing, Brooke's just Brooke, you know, he just smiles. He said, I don't think he went that way. I think he came this way. So I think, so we've been trailing this blood. I come to ravine, but Brooke thinks he went up the hill. Little did I know Brooke had done seen him. Hey, ladies, right there. <laughs> I might have seen him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. That's the seven point. Was he on the shooter list? He was on the river, yep. He was on the river? He was on the river. So really? Yeah. Nice G2 there. Got an old crooked brow. Crab claw. Yeah. Oh, uh, he just got a little bit of everything. Kind of bladed right here. Bladed here. This thing here is bladed. Just a good old buck. Just a solid old buck, you know. But for a bow kill, I'd take that. Come in here this evening, and Joe put me in the in the honey hole to shoot a big nine point. Well, a big nine point didn't show. The seven point showed. Nobody had some big G2s. Couldn't tell a lot about him. It got dark so early this evening. So I said, what the heck? I'm going to shoot him. So anyhow, I shot him. Son of a gun laid into my air like you ain't never seen. I guess made a fatal shot, though, because here he is. Nice little Arkansas buck. 
We ain't got but about a half a mile to get him out. And it's just me and Brookster. Dang, this city boy has come to kill, conquer, and destroy. I can tell you right now, we come for business, son. I it's tell you what. Back. I got some light now. Brookston. Oh, we was out of light. We was out of everything, son. Hey, look. We out of energy. We out of light. We Don't y'all love that hill? Don't you love that hill? Oh, dude. Now y'all know why I let so many deer walk. <laughs> <laughs> Well, man, we always have a good time when we come up here with Joe. It doesn't matter if we kill a deer or not. It's a good time. Uh, a lot of good hunting here in Arkansas. And uh, we appreciate Brother Joe taking care of us every year, getting us ready to hunt. Y'all catch us next week right here, same time, same place. All right, y'all stop what you're doing right now. Go check out the YouTube channel. Give us a subscribe, like, and comment. That sure will help us out. Big A could be right that it's that six, but I've seen that six. And that, that ain't the seven point from the river? No, Seven Point River is way bigger than that one. Really? Nice deer, though, stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Ain't nobody ever had the one I saw on camera. Ever. <laughs> ever. He they, couldn't fit on the camera. They wouldn't get out of the stand. No. They'd be right there. You'd come to this up skeleton sitting in the stand. <laughs> okay. Okay. John, it, uh, all you have to do is to have an opportunity to kill. Yeah. That's, that's right. all you're supposed to get. That's a lot of opportunity at a four point first. <laughs> <laughs>